So let's go to the setup. Then let's expand the mobile management section. And before we start and enable the device management, there is one important note that I want you to be aware of, which is if you have your users already connected their G Suite accounts to their devices and they are using these accounts normally right now, and then you come here and enable the device management, these users who were working normally before, they will lose access to their G Suite accounts and their G Suite data. And they will only be able to access that after they enable and install the policy application, which is available on Play Store. And once they accept the enforcement of the policy on their devices, they will regain access to the G Suite account and data. And they will start working normally again as they were before. So if you have the policy disabled before and you decided to enable it, then you have to be aware that your users will lose access and you'll have to prepare for this. In case you are doing this from the very beginning of your G Suite account setup, then you don't have to worry about it anyway. So just make sure that you are aware of this before enabling the policy after a while of using G Suite. And as I mentioned, by default, it comes disabled. So we will enable it right now. And then we are presented with three options. These options decide what type of control and what type of policies do we get for the devices. The lowest level of management comes with the basic option and uh, basically this allows us to set the lock screen policy and the account wipe and the deletion policies as well so we can force users to have their screen lock after certain amount of time or we get the option to wipe the business account from the device in case the user left our company or the device was compromised or stolen or if you wanted more control then we go to the advanced selection where we can actually manage what applications can be installed on the devices and we get more security controls over the devices as well or in case we wanted to go more deep as well we can select custom and then we are presented with the option to select what level of management we can do for android ios or google sync google sync is any other device that is not running ios or android for example the windows phone devices so we can select what do you want to manage on the android devices whether to keep them unmanaged or give them basic management or advanced management same goes for ios devices as well and the same goes for google sync so for this demonstration i'm gonna set it to advanced and i'm gonna click save so before these settings are being saved, we are presented with this notification about the Apple push certificate. And as I mentioned before, if you wanted to manage the iOS devices, then we'll have to take extra steps. These steps are actually getting an Apple push certificate from Apple and then upload it to our G Suite admin console. So the Apple devices actually can trust our G Suite policies and apply them. Without installing the Apple Push Certificate, the iOS devices management will be set to basic, which actually only allows us to wipe the business account or set the screen lock policies. However, if you wanted to do more advanced stuff, then we'll have to provide the Apple Push Certificate. We're going to take a look on the Apple Push Certificate in the next video. Right now, I'm just going to click OK, got it. And after this, we will work with the Apple Push Certificate and I'm going to show you how you can generate the Apple Push Certificate and upload it to the G Suite Admin Console.